Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create a custom frequency separation in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. As you might know, frequency separation is a great way to retouch portrait photos. If you're interested in the theory, see my links in the description. Basically, it is separating the image in a color layer and a details layer. The great thing in Affinity Photo is that it has an out-of-the-box frequency separation feature. From the filters menu, select frequency separation, adjust to your needs, and the two layers are created. I believe the frequency separation in Affinity is using Gaussian blur. What if you want to use a different blur? Let's say median blur. We need to recreate the frequency separation ourselves. Let's start by copying our original image layer. Now we can apply the blur we want to this layer. It looks like the current version of Affinity Photo has a bug here. Changing the blur does not affect my image, as somehow there is nothing selected. Let's select the filter again and now modify the blur settings. Once we are happy with the amount of blur, we need to make another copy of the original image. To get the details, we need to subtract the original image from the blurred layer. I copied the layer and removed the live filter so I have the original image again. To subtract from the blurred layer, we need to select the apply image filter from the filters menu. Keep in mind, this is a destructive filter. In the apply image dialog, we need to select the blurred layer as our source. We can do this by dragging and dropping it to this dialog. Sadly, we cannot use the subtract blend mode as this does not create the details layer we need. We need to have gray as zero and not black. We can however achieve this by using equations. The formula to achieve this is as follows. Subtract the source channel from the destination channel, divide this by two and add 0.5. This will achieve the desired effect, namely that when there is no difference, the output will be pure gray. We repeat this for all the channels and press apply. When we change the blend mode to linear light, we have recreated the frequency separation and have the two required layers. This completes the tutorial for creating the custom frequency separation. If you're interested, you can keep watching to see how I finish this image. Thanks for watching.